Are you ready to take your shine and protection to the next level? Well, stay tuned because today we're going to be showing you guys three different ways on how to achieve a showroom shine and keep your car protected all year long. So the first product that we're going to be going over is our Glossworks Ultimate Glaze. Now a glaze is a thing of its own. It's not a wax, it's not a sealant, it's not a ceramic coating, don't get it mixed. This is a glaze and what a glaze is intended to do is basically just to enhance your shine. Now what it does and the way it does that is it actually temporarily fills in light imperfections in your paintwork like scratches and swirl marks. It gives your paint more depth, more clarity and a better foundation for all the other products to apply over it to reflect on. And this product is very easy to use. All you need is a microfiber applicator and the product itself. And if you want to apply it by machine, you can also apply it with a dual action polisher. But today I'm going to be showing you guys by hand just because it's a very easy to use product. All you have to do is just make sure that you thoroughly shake the bottle. And once it's all nice and mixed up, open up the spout. And then you're just going to apply a couple drops onto a soft microfiber applicator or a polishing pad, depending on your uh, application method. So right here, I'm going to apply about five drops. Once you've applied your five drops onto your microfiber applicator, all you want to do now is blot it out onto a nice little two by two section. I say two by two because if you try to apply it to the whole hood all at once, there may be a possibility that you don't apply evenly. So it's always best to just do a small section and then just keep replicating that process all throughout your vehicle. So once you've blotted it out, now you, all you want to do is spread it. And you're just going to spread this in a cross hatch motion so you can go up, down, left and right until you achieve that perfect even finish. And really what you're looking for here is coverage. Now, the reason I say coverage is simply because, you know, you want this product to cover as much scratches as sw and swirls as possible. So the more even finish that you have when you're applying this product, the better foundation you'll have and the better all around shine you'll have around your vehicle. And if you are applying it in a two by two section and you find that, you know what, maybe you apply just a little bit too much product, feel free to stretch that product. You know, in this case, you guys will see me right here. I'm basically applying it to this third side of the hood and I'm just basically making the best use out of the product. You know, the most light even layer that you can do as possible, the easier it will be when it comes to buffing it off. And feel free to replicate this process, this cross hatch motion up, down, left and right as many times as possible that you feel like and until you have a nice even finish. And then once you're done applying it, you can go ahead and rest. So the great thing about this glaze is once it's applied, you want to let it do its thing. You want to let it just kind of simmer. You want to let it marinate. You want to allow the product some time to kind of fill into those imperfections and kind of level your paintwork. So typically when it comes to a glaze, we recommend allowing it to sit from anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the environment. Right here, we're indoors, it's a garage, we have AC, so you know the temperature is fairly nice in here. So I can let this sit for about 15 minutes max. If it's a warmer climate, if you're doing this in a garage or maybe outdoors out of direct sunlight, then I would recommend letting it sit for about five to 10 minutes before wiping it off. So we'll go ahead and we should probably just do the rest of the hood. So we'll go ahead and coat the rest of the hood with our Glossworks glaze and we'll be back 15 minutes after we finish applying it to the whole hood to show you guys how to wipe it off. So it's been about 15 minutes and now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a clean microfiber towel and we're simply going to wipe off the residue of the Glossworks glaze. Now a pro tip for you guys, if you're not sure whether you can wipe it off yet or not, I would recommend just getting your finger and just kind of wiping it through where you've already applied it. If the product comes out fully nicely, like there's no residue left behind, great. If it's still streaking, you still got to wait a little bit more time. I just did a wipe right now. Everything came right off. So it's letting me know that it's ready to be wiped off. So we got our premium microfiber towel here and we're simply just going to wipe off the residue and just reveal that beautiful shine. Now keep in mind that Glossworks glaze does work on all colors. Uh, we also do have different types of glazes depending on the color of your vehicle. Glossworks works great on all colors. If you have a dark colored car like this, I would highly recommend checking out black light. We also have white light for the light colored vehicles and we also have wet mirror finish if you're looking for that wet reflective mirror like finish. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off the residue 
of Glossworks all throughout the hood and I'll be right back with you guys once I'm done. All right, so we just finished wiping off the residue of Glossworks glaze. I did end up having to use a separate towel just to ensure that we wiped off every single amount of residue of the Glossworks glaze. And now we can go ahead and layer this. Now, keep in mind, I know some of you guys may be thinking, you know, three products, that seems like a lot of work, but I'm here to tell you that these are all optional. You don't have to use them all. I would honestly recommend, as long as you have one form of protection on your vehicle, you're good to go. After you finish applying a glaze like Glossworks or whichever other glaze you choose to apply, it's strongly recommended to apply a protectant over it because glazes, they're not really sole protectants. They do have some protective aspects to them, but they're not really meant to be used as a, as a primary form of protection for your vehicle. And that's why we recommend that you layer it with either a sealant or a wax. Now, I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys right now. You do not need to use both of these on your vehicle. You can use one or the either, or you can use them together but today i'm showing you guys that if you are going to be using them together apply them in this order glaze sealant and then wax now the reason you want to apply the sealant next is because sealants are actually better than waxes in the sense that they offer more protection against the elements sealants are just synthetic waxes that are designed to provide the best form of protection on your vehicle you can use it on your paint your glass your chrome your wheels your headlights tailpipes whatever anything that's smooth and glossy you can apply this to it and just think of this as a shield for your paintwork. So this is just gonna lock in that layer of glaze so that you have those self-leveling filler properties for a lot longer to come. And the great thing about Jet Seal is that you apply it the exact same way as Glossworks. All you gotta do is shake this baby up. And then once you shake it up very thoroughly, open up the spout. Grab, I would say use another applicator. You could just use the other side uh, if it didn't get dirty. But in this case, we're just gonna go with another applicator just so we don't have any kind of cross-contamination. And we're simply just gonna apply a couple drops of Jet Seal onto the applicator and basically rinse and repeat. We're gonna follow the exact same application process that we did with Glossworks Glaze. And uh, with Jet Seal, you wanna let it sit on the surface from anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes just so that it can allow it to bond to the surface and lock on and then basically anything that you remove, that's just the excess residue that you remove. The first initial coat when you're applying it, that's the layer that's gonna bond direct to the paintwork. And then after we finish wiping off the residue of Jet Seal, we're gonna apply a coat of Butterwet Wax just to furthermore enhance the shine and protection. So same thing, blot it out, cross hatch motion, apply evenly, let sit for 10 to 15 minutes, wipe it off. When it comes to butter wax, you can just apply it and then once it hazes, just simply wipe it off, which usually happens about two to three minutes after applying it. So let me go ahead and finish this baby up and show you guys the final results. All right guys, and just like that, we're all done enhancing this beautiful Beamer with the most depth, the most clarity, the most shine, and durable layer protection that it's ever gonna receive with using these three products, Glossworks Ultimate Glaze, Jet Seal Synthetic Sealant, and Butter Wet Wax. So I just wanna emphasize once again, these are basically all, this is the outline of how you would apply them. You don't have to apply them all, but I would strongly recommend that you at least apply either a sealant or a wax or a ceramic coating. Remember, Glaze is an optional product. This is just intended to give your paint a better foundation, more shine and clarity, prior to you applying a protectant like Jet Seal or Butter Wax or any of the other protectants that we have on our product line. And just like that, we're all done giving this beautiful BMW the shine and protection it deserves using our Chemical Guys products, Glossworks Ultimate Glaze, Jet Seal Synthetic Paint Sealant, and our Butter Wet Wax. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, make sure to give us a huge like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and as always, if you guys wanna pick up these products, they're gonna be linked in the description and pinned comment down below. As always, my name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys, and I'll see you guys next time.